Hi everybody, it's Jean, and I'm going to do part two of my um, Goodwill bin haul. And I'm sliding up to my desk here. Um, <laughs> I did this video this morning, and so um, everything's all piled up here because I already did it. But I ended up filming it on the very slow, and I talk like this. <laughs> it was really funny and it was like four hours long so I just had to delete it and start over there was no way I could save it I didn't have enough room to save it and, and then try and edit it and fix it so <laughs> so I was all enthusiastic this morning so we'll see but it's all piled up here and I want to do other things so I need to get this stuff off my desk so I'm just going to show you what I bought and um, I bought this um, this paper, which I love. And it's, of course, um, just wrapping paper. But it makes wonderful backgrounds. It makes wonderful papers and journals. And so um, uh, I definitely picked that up. I love it. And that was uh, one of my favorite things. And I got these uh, jumbo... Um, wall um, uh, stickers, decal sticker kind of thing. And um, of course it's too big for a journal. I don't even, even my boho journal, which is very tall, it, this is too tall for that. So I will be cutting around and cutting these out and um, playing with them. And I have some more on this side too. So, uh, so they're fun. They're fun. They look so real. I love them. And I think they'll be very pretty in a journal. I found this trim. That's the back side. This is the front side. And I'm not sure if I showed you this or not, this, um, this fabric. But this is just a great uh, piece of fabric, which is very nice to use on vintage um, style uh, items. So, um, so I definitely had to pick up all of that. Normally I just take a piece of something, but I just picked up all of it because I loved it. And I showed you this and the reason I got it out was because I was telling you about a journal I was going to make with it. And I picked up a couple of things to do. Uh, this, these I guess are coasters or maybe potholders or something. I don't know. But I thought I, I thought they looked like nice coasters. And so I thought I would put two of them and make one of them into a pocket uh, by maybe opening it up and making it into a pocket or something. Or maybe I'll make all of them into pockets. I don't know. In this uh, cat journal that I'm going to make with Pete the cat for my friend. Her birthday is in October. Somebody suggested it when I uh, mentioned about how much she liked Pete the cat. And so uh, it's, it's, I had actually thought I would anyway. Uh, I've been meaning to, I've bought other things like some cat washi and some other things to make a cat journal for her. So um, she's not really big on journals, but I think she might like a cat journal where she could jot down some of the cute things her cat does or even keep a record of her cat's uh, illnesses or uh, issues or treatments or or anything. It, it can be all about her cat. And her cat, oh gosh, um, Miss Reba is her cat's name. Uh, this is flannel. And uh, it, it these were little stamps. And I thought, oh, these are adorable. Now, some of these are very hard to see. But if you zero in on it, you can. But I would be using the bigger ones with the cats. And instead of buying the whole piece of fabric, I just I just ripped off a section. Because that's, that's really all I want. I will be bored with these. Um, hopefully I won't be regretting not getting more. But um, because these are just the right size for journal tags or for like faux stamps. Uh, things like that. So anyway, so those are the cat things that I picked up. And I will set those aside. I did find um, 
Now, I found a whole bag, and I'm not sure where it is. I don't know where it is, but I found a whole bag of uh, these smaller size doilies. And uh, so I was really happy with that. This one uh, needs to be tea dyed because it's stained. And so, um, so I'll wash it in the washer and then I will tea dye it. And uh, that's a that's a very pretty one. I like that. I love square. Uh, I love square doilies more than I like the round ones. So anyway, so I got that. And uh, this is another instance of um, uh, just picking up, just finding a scrap of fabric. And um, I love gingham. So any color is fine. Red is awfully nice. Um, I think it, red is an extra nice color. Um, I picked up this. I don't know what it's for. I think you're supposed to make, I think you're supposed to stuff it and it's supposed to be a... <laughs> Uh, an owl it's <laughs> an owl stuffed toy it's got a back and a front but really all I want is the front but I might use the back for an owl silhouette or I might cut out eyes like that and a beak and wings you know and make something from that so that might be kind of fun to play with so uh so anyway so I picked it up and again uh, just another scrap of fabric I had everything, uh, I kept stuffing things in this bag, and I like the uh, bag paper. I liked how thin it was, I like how it felt, but I also liked the B on the front. So, um, so I had to have that. And then, let's see here, oh, um, in addition to those uh, orchid decal, uh, wall decals, I found these. And let me zoom in and show you that. That's what this is. And it's actually quite heavy, so I probably paid a dollar or more for it. Um, but if you can see, they are really good size. And this size here would probably cover a journal cover. And then there's uh, the big leaves that you can use to play with and mushrooms and flowers. And there's all kinds of different things on, on these, these pages. Some of them are gone. Whoever used it used what they wanted and threw away all the rest. Uh, another owl. But anyway, there's a bunch of uh, different decals in here. And you will see them added to my books here and there just for fun just to play with and hopefully it will fit I didn't want to oh I didn't want to fit it what did I stick in there or did I stick it in oh I did I did um, I thought talk about your special events I thought that would just be pretty I don't think I would use it for a gift for a card um, but I like um, I liked how that how that looked, and I thought that might make a I, I might have fun doing something with that. And then this, of course, um, uh, is um, gosh, what are those figures called? Oh, Hummel Hummel figures. And uh, so this looked very vintage to me, and I'm I'm going to use that. So that was fun. Uh, metal garden hook. I saw those and I said, I definitely want those. I'm always looking for hooks of some kind. So I wanted that. Uh, I found this, which was fun. Uh, trick or treat um, piece of fabric. It's, you know, is it a, is it a, a napkin? You know, it's all it's all um, finished off on the edges, but I thought, well, if nothing else, it'll just make a nice background. So I I bought that because Halloween stuff for me is kind of hard to find. I don't know why I bought this. It's um it's a doll uh, petticoat. Um, this is my trouble. I don't know. I just looked at it and I thought, I bet I could do something fun with that. Make a big flower and put something in the middle. Or even use this side and put something in the middle. 
um, it's very vintage and I thought, oh, that's, that's fun. I might even cut it in half and do a half, uh, on a, on two different pages in two different books. <clears throat> uh, correction tape. I'm writing in a journal and I only have a little space to write in every day. And sometimes I write something, um, I spell it wrong <laughs> or I write it wrong. So I thought uh, maybe um, I might be able to use correction tape. I don't know. I haven't gotten it out and tried it. it. Might not even work anymore, but it was worth picking up. So, so I got that. Oh, I'm filling back this bag on this stuff here. Um, I picked up this bag, which um, I have no need for extra bags. I'm going to tell you something. I have a lot of bags, but when I see one like this that I just love, it's all about Paris. It's all vintage postcards. It's all, um, it's just, a. Um, I, I just love it. Uh, I had to have it. It's very well made. It's very thick. It's like quilted. It's got like something in the middle between the fabric. And um, I loved it. Even when I went up to the counter and I was, uh, buying it the clerk was like oh oh I love that oh I love that so that makes me feel like I got a good deal <laughs> and um, this is also in the bin I'm trying to pile this stuff back in this bin um, I got um, three of these I got three of these and you know what I bought them for I'm going to use them for wings uh, fairy wings so they will be very pretty in a um, mixed media piece and they will make wonderful fairy wings. So I have three of them. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen 15 um, wings so I can make seven fairies. Yay, huh? That's pretty good. Um, I picked this up. I... I actually have the skills. I've made um, quilts before and I have the skills to use this to finish off. There were only four of these quilt blocks. So I have the skills to make more quilt blocks. Um, except I don't have this, this, um, this cream colored fabric and I wouldn't be able to probably match it. Uh, however, um, using all this wonderful fabric, all these wonderful patterns, look at that butterflies, uh, all these wonderful patterns that are all cut down in size to use journaling. Um, oh, the teapots, aren't they just adorable? Um, so I was very excited about this and of course I can use the the quilt blocks that are already made to make a nice pillow so that's coming up soon that'll be something that'll be fun to make and I can do it as slow stitching and then I can maybe even decorate them um, that would make a pretty big pillow though uh, four of these that's two well anyway that would make a pretty big pillow but I could use them in slow stitching I'm not sure how I'm going to use them you can give me some ideas I loved them though so um oh this is the um uh, I picked up one of these uh baskets with the handle uh to carry things in and they're great for storage I picked, uh, I have several of them. Okay. Ah, this is, uh, this is fun. These are great envelopes. Look, they're wavy. They're even wavy, like hand-drawn. And, um, this is all Paris and it's blank. So these are great. There's only three, I think three of them, three or four. Wait a minute. One two three there's four maybe there's only three of these one two nope four of those there's four they've tried to sell them apparently at a garage sale for 50 cents 
for the bag of them and they didn't sell. Can you imagine people passing those by and not picking those up? I would have picked them up for 50 cents in a heartbeat, but I got them for about 20 cents. <clears throat> More fabric. Uh, this is great for late summer and early fall. I just, I, I love that. Um, I can cut those out for journal tags. Um, I can cover a page with that. I could make, um, <clears throat> I could make a, a journal cover. Um, there's lots of things I can do with just that, <clears throat> that little bit of fabric. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, book plates. This will be fun um, uh, to put in my journals. And um, I have a ton of journals and none of them have uh, book plates except one or two because people have sent me book plates before and I love them. Uh, this little sign, a Bon Appetit, just looked like it needed to be uh, in one of my journals. It's pretty thin. And especially in those big, um, big chunky, junky ones, uh, that will easily accept something this size. So um, that will be fun. Or if for no other, nothing else, I might use it in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, again, this is a journal, um, a journal piece. It's very thin. Um, I think it's going to go in my boho journal. Um, it might be missing um, some, no, it's not missing any sprinkles, I don't think, or anything, but I do need to clean the, <clears throat> clean that, but that's going to be a flower, I, and oh, look, here's some, uh, some leaves for it, how about that, this came, uh, I, I bought, uh, I bought a whole a whole string of they were they were lights and these were all flowers around lights and I took them off because I thought they looked more like leaves skeleton leaves rather than flowers so I took them all off I've got over a hundred of these but aren't they going to be very pretty or I might make like a long stem and have leaves coming down like that. Wouldn't that be cute? Or even alternating. So anyway, lots of fun for that. Uh, got big plans for that. Here's another uh, kind of a weird, weird one. Oh, you know what I bought? I bought myself a travel iron because I get stuff like this and it's pretty wrinkled and I sometimes I think I might want to press it out and see what happens. Um, I do kind of like the wrinkled feel, but, um, it's, it's weird. It's very weird. I don't know. It's all kind of raggedy looking, but it's not raggedy. It's all, it's, this is how it's supposed to be. So I don't know, but I thought, Ooh, that would be really fun in a, in a, um, oh, a journal, uh, like, um, uh, I don't want to say junk journal. I want to say, oh, what's those kind that are kind of, they're all raggedy and all that. Did I show you this already? Um, uh, this is great for border. Um, I just, um, I, when I find just little pieces like this, I just have to have them. Um, these beads were nice. It's stretchy. Um... This apparently missing some beads, so they threw it away. Their loss is my gain because um, I will probably tie it off and it will hang in a dangle. Some uh, wired metallic ribbon. And of course, you also can use these for, for giant buttons. <laughs> but this is a new package, so... Um, 33 eighths of an inch gold wired edge retails for a dollar 99 and because it probably weighs an ounce I probably paid about 10 cents for it um, I picked up this this is a blouse this is a blouse and it's got all these covered buttons which will make a wonderful border um, 
on something. All of this lace is like a polished cotton lace. It's very fancy, very pretty. And um, then there's all this that um, is very unique and will be because can be easily cut up and glued down. There's all this section. And I think this is the back of the, and it has, has this, which I would probably cut like that and use that. But guess what? It has a bonus one. There's another one down here at the bottom with um, your lacy borders. So yeah, so I, um, I spotted that and I, I've just kind of started picking up some clothing items to use in journals to, to cut up. Here's a sleeve that will make a beautiful pocket. Uh, and nearby I did see this and I thought, oh, there's a nice little bag. Um, I can send that uh, some stuff in that in Happy Mail. It's actually very Christmassy, but um, you have to kind of look hard to see that it's Christmassy. It's it's very pretty. But so much I can do with this uh, blouse. And it's in perfect condition. I uh, hate to sometimes tear it up. I found all these stamps. Um always happy i don't do enough stamping but i'm always buying them um this is four stamps look at the size of those won't those be fun on mixed media so i was happy with that and these are all new they haven't been used before So, and I know it's probably because maybe they're going out of fashion because they're the ones on the blocks, but I don't care. Um, this is a butterfly charm. It feels like plastic, like a thick plastic, but it might be uh, something else. It almost feels like a shell. It feels like a shell, actually, like it was cut out of a shell. So... Uh, I thought that would be nice to, to use somehow. Um, I got some paint. Oh, I got three things of paint. Uh, gray, pewter gray. You know, how ugly is pewter gray? But I thought, you know, you can maybe mix pewter gray with some other colors. And I just wonder even how those three colors would look all blended together. That would make a very interesting background. <clears throat> but I was very happy to find the purple because I used most of my purple up when I, I made my purple cat for outdoors. And you know what? That's been outdoors and it still looks wonderful. It's been outdoors now for, uh, is it two winters? And it just looks great. I, I sprayed it and I uh, after I painted it, I sprayed it really good with a sealer. And it's worked very well. I should take it in, though, in the wintertime. Uh, this is Old Gold Artist Loft. Very pretty color. I can't believe it's brand new. So very happy to have that. Um, I picked up this just to tuck into a little journal. I said that cute. Just I just find these little things. This and this came with this kit um, came with this little sewing kit and I liked this just because it was it was pink <laughs> and I had to have the sewing kit because I like those uh, needle threaders I'm always needing needle threaders uh, this did come with a lot of needles and a seam ripper, some pins, and a thimble. Love me a good thimble. It's a lifesaver. So I was very happy with that. And uh, I bought these. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> I do not need any dice for any reason at all, but I love dice. I just love them. 
and you know there must be games that you can play with dice and uh, there were four of these but they didn't fit into the container so I only took two and I these already were in the container and it even has a it has a metal lid so I'm not sure oh is that supposed to no, I was going to say, is that supposed to go on the top for a decoration? But it doesn't stick. It only sticks underneath. Now, what is the purpose of that? I, I don't know. But I thought, this is great. I love to play games with shakers and dice. And this is why I should never go to the bins, because I pick up very useless things. My bad, my bad. It's my birthday month, so I picked up this birthday napkin. Yay, me. Um, let me throw this out, throw this away. Um, actually, this is the kind of, of um, piece I really like that's all grungy, not the bright pink, brand new, leathery kind of look, but hey. I like the nice pink, brand new leathery kind of thing too. Sorry for moving the camera. Oh, <laughs> I may cut that out. Okay, look at that. Not only is it birthday stuff, it's stars. So I love that. That's definitely going to be a nice background. And I may keep the happy birthday because it's my birthday this month. And I'm going to uh, celebrate. Uh, my sister's coming. Uh, she uh, and her boyfriend every day have happy hour. They close their life down around 4 or 5 o'clock. I don't remember exactly the time, but as soon as it gets to be that time, they just sit down and she fixes a little cheese plate or an hors d'oeuvre plate. And they have a glass of wine. And they just relax for, for about an hour and just, you know, and then have dinner. So, um... I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have these? And then I could let her take the rest of them. I could, um, you know, we'll use these while she's here. And then if there's any left, she can take them with her. But yeah, the life, liberty, and the pursuit of happy hour. I just, I just thought of her and I thought, hey, these are, what, $1. And of course, they probably weigh three or four ounces maybe. And um, does it say on here? So that would be um, maybe a quarter that it cost me. Um, I bought that and I wrinkled it all up, just bringing it home because I didn't put it carefully in a book or something. Um, uh, awesome egg dies. I thought, oh, how fun. I can maybe uh, play with the dye colors on some... A paper towel and make some backgrounds or make just make something fun and um, uh, just have some painty papers with these egg dyes because they're sealed up in in containers it's not like I have a, a an open container of it and not know what to do with it and have to use it all in fact I'm never gonna throw my dye away again I'm gonna always try to dye um, stuff with my egg dye. I don't know why I haven't. Here's another. I think this is how it goes right here. Another nice new stamp. Can't wait to stamp some stuff. Um, oh, this is really creepy. Uh, I found this. It says valuable papers and um, I thought, oh, I love that. I love the manila. I love the the lines uh, for journaling. Um, I can just antique this up and I will love, love, love it. And then you can put something in it. And I never realized there were papers in it. And when I got them out this morning while I was doing the video and telling you about it, um, um, just an influence for you where things are as of this date, love mom. And I thought, ooh, what's in here? And it's to whom it may concern, and it's all about what she has, where it is, what her passwords are, her social security number, all her information. And, oh my gosh, it's kind of scary. 
thinking that that was floating around. Could have gotten into some bad hands. I don't know if she's still alive or if she actually did pass away and nobody ever found this. It's scary to know. I I don't know. But anyway, that that's kind of uh, weird. And I'm just glad it's got into my hands because I wouldn't do anything bad with it. Um, I didn't have one of these wine stoppers. I had one in Florida. I packed it up with all my stuff to bring, which is all still packed up. My kitchenware stuff is all still packed up because I had a fully stocked kitchen here. So, um, so I went ahead and I picked this up. It needs to be washed and, um, I'm going to use it for a little wine stopper so that I don't have to drink a whole bottle of wine, um, I, or beer. I think you can use it for beer too. Because I, I like to have a beer once in a while, but I don't want a whole bottle of it. It's just too much liquid. So anyway, um, here's another thing. Oops. Here's another. Um, so I picked up those things. And I will incorporate those into my household. Those aren't really for journaling. But this is for my birthday and this is going to go on the refrigerator these are all um uh birthday uh magnets look at that i love that and that can probably go into a journal later some of this stuff with little celebration ribbons and cake and all this and little stars oh there's uh, two or three more stars anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna decorate my refrigerator because it's my birthday month yay for me uh may is my favorite month of the year not only because it's my birthday month but because it's the best month ever it's got the best weather well today it was cold and rainy but it's not usually too cold in May, but it's pretty cold today. But it can be anything. So anyway, uh, that's going to go in my refrigerator. <clears throat> this is going to go into a journal. It was originally just a dollar. But I thought, well, that might be just kind of fun to just throw in and just stick on because I like to stick. I like to stick things. So, um, oh, apparently... The O is a heart, and then there's two more hearts. So, anyway, I don't know. I just felt compelled to buy that. This was in that sewing kit. So, it came, I didn't take it out. I could have just taken it out and not bought it. It does weigh a couple of ounces, probably. But, it's a little uh, dangle all about Japan, and I thought it might be kind of pretty uh, to go in an Asian journal. So, and I did like this. The Heartland of Japan. I thought that was very pretty. And so I thought, okay, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Oh, my kids are going to have the biggest bonfire or garage sale <laughs> or donation ever. Um... And this is like a stretchy ribbon, but look at it, how cute it is. It's little hedgehogs. It's little hedgehogs. So I thought I would unfold it and make it into a, a little border. And that was fun. I'm having fun with my boho journal. And so I bought this other one. And um, <clears throat> this will be a much smaller one. Uh, if, if, if my other one goes fine, if not, this is, I probably, I may not use it, but it's actually cute and, um, it has plenty of tie for it, even though it's broken and it will have a nice, um, pocket, zippered pocket, which is always fun to have, uh, uh, a place that you can put things and they're secure. So, and I do love, I do love this. And there's so many things that you can put. You can, um, 
you can do with this. I can't wait to show you the boho journal I'm making and then you'll see why I bought this. Because if I'm going to make something else, I'm going to make something else. Now, I picked up this and I mostly picked it up because I saw this and I thought, oh, oh, those are nice. I could maybe use those. And then I realized this is all baby stuff and so I probably wouldn't really use it in a journal. I don't know. I don't really need any baby stuff. But... Um, I probably will know somebody who has a baby and this is a brand new nice card so I may uh, use that to send to somebody and this is uh, for a wedding and right now I don't know anybody getting married but I might and it's a beautiful card so why not pick them up for like 10 cents or so and uh, uh, this was in the package and this, these are butterflies. These are all sealed packages. But I thought I can even antique the butterflies or take off the wings and make them into fairies. Um, you know, and distress them. Anyway, there's all different sizes. A lot of sizes. And I love the green and the orange. And I thought, hey, that's a win-win. Happy with that. And then I was very surprised when I took this out today. I didn't even realize these were postcards. This is a whole stack of shaped postcards, but guess what? They're vintage. What a find. What a find. I was really happy. Very happy to get this. And there's so many of them. I just can't believe somebody just threw them in the Goodwill. So cute. So stinking cute. I'm very happy with those. So, that, um, in addition to this, <laughs> is my haul. Uh, is the end of my haul. And there were some other things. Uh, that I bought that I didn't show you just because they were like kitchen things. Um, are they still in here? I could maybe show you. I got uh, two of these, uh, which are nice long tongs, which um, my tongs have just now uh, stopped. Uh, they just broke, so... So tongs were great, and then these were new. Um, well, they weren't new. I thought they were new when I bought them. Anyway, there were two of these. I can't. I can't see where the other one is. Uh, but they, anyway, they looked nice and clean, and they were. Um, I thought, well, I'll just wash those up, and I'll use those because I can always. Um, I can always. The one I have is bigger than this and thicker than this and it's hard to use now the other one of these that i bought is smaller it's a smaller one and i like the smaller ones so anyway i picked up those i did get two of these and um, these look in really good condition and these are from these are stainless steel and they have a number stamp on them so i think they're they're a nice quality uh, so anyway, so that's my haul, and I know I didn't sound overly excited about anything, but it's because I've this is the second time I've gone through it. <laughs> so, so uh, all is well. I don't know if I showed you this the last time or not. Um, I do love these little um, these little letters. They're little wooden letters. And you can do all kinds of things with little, little D, A, M, N. <laughs> okay. And I usually don't swear, but I mean, that word just came out. I don't know where it came from. The devil made me do it, I guess. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. And now my desk is cleared off and I can play again in my journals. Thanks a lot, guys. Awesome time. Bye-bye. Oh, and I bought this bag, and I keep stuffing stuff in it. 
but I thought this was a very cute little bag. And look, this just opens up. Today you're the big kahuna. <laughs> so anyway, so that was my that was my haul, and I thank you for watching and staying through to the end for those of you who have. And I promise no more hauls for a while. I'll be back. I have a couple journals to show you. So those will be my next video. So watch for those. Okay. Bye, everybody. And um, like and share. If you would just share my videos, um, that would be very helpful. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.